Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Mariano Cicciarelli. Today is the 6th of June 2017. Um, welcome to the 8th video of my um, Making a Techno Track series. Um, today we're going to be looking at vocals. Um, all the, this entire series was based on a, on a track that you can download for free, you can find the link in the description. Uh, this, track, this track is called Moment and it's a part of a 4 track EP that I released entirely for free download. Um, there's somewhere where you can find the entire EP for download um, and also there's, there's um, a brief introduction that I wanted to make to all of you on this particular video. Um, as you may have noticed by the by a new video that appeared on my channel, I've um, recently um, recently created an account with Patreon. The reason being is because I think that's a much more ethical way of supporting artists uh, artists that you that you really enjoy uh, that you really enjoy uh, their work that really enjoy their content. And, um, and that you you want to support in a way. Um, the reason I decided to do this is because um, I'm not allowing any more advertising on my channel. I this I, I have no control uh, about what appears or, or the products that YouTube or any advertisers want to promote on my videos. And for this reason, I decided that that moving forward, that the best and, and only way that I will ever take support from from you is um, through uh, my Patreon profile. So. Um, Going there as support is super super easy. Um, obviously, it's not going to be you guys just giving me money and nothing else. It's um, it's about giving you more and better. So there are different tiers. There's a supporter tier, so you get access to polls and content. There's a learner where you get early downloads and, and releases. Mm, there's an eager learner tier where you you get. I'll review your music and make videos about it. There's a pro learner one where you get a one-to-one -one Skype session with me every month um, to answer all your questions and then you get all all the other rewards as, as well. There's a remixer one where I'll send you a pack of sounds and you can work with it and then I'll make a video review with tips about it and how to improve your track or I'll remix one of your tracks. And then the collaborator one is um, a tier world where you'll get all the above and also we'll make a track together with you um, so anyway I, I, I've just started it uh, promoting it I've got a few patrons already that's that's really cool I mean I'm really really happy to see uh, all your your support guys so that's guys and girls actually so um, that's really amazing um, so uh, other ways that you can support my work is by sharing sharing my social media profiles i've got a um the official mariano chicharelli facebook um my, my patron is the mariano c um c um, actually twitter the mariano c as well and youtube well you're listening to my youtube you can also find me on soundcloud as mariano chicharelli right having said all that um i appreciate your time and, and thank you so much your, your support just the fact that you're watching this video is really really cool for me so thank you um, as usual so let's get right into it um, vocals we're gonna we're gonna look at vocals today now for this particular track and um, in many of my tracks I do have I do have vocals and something that I that I tend to do is to double them down. The main reason being is because is that I really I'm not a great singer. I don't particularly enjoy my my own voice. So what I but I do know that I want those notes sang. Is it, I, I want them. Um, interpreted by, by a vocal. I don't want to use an instrument for them because I think voices have a, have a special texture and as you know if you've seen any of my previous tracks for me it's all about the texture and it's all about creating interesting um, it sounds, interesting things that people aren't used to hear and even though people are used to hear vocals 
I think I use them in a very particular way. So again, as I don't particularly enjoy my voice, I tend to double down and to create um, some sort of a aqua um, with my with my own voices. Um, I just recorded one of them, so this is. I'm gonna. I'm gonna shut down. I'm gonna try shutting down all the effects so that you can hear only the vocal and nothing else. So that you can see what I'm what I'm saying. It's, it's not really a, a great vocal. I'm not a singer, so I, I do what I can and I record it a few times, use the, the best that I can, and um and then it's all about the sound processing to try and make it sound better. So you can actually hear how 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 my so my my voice vibrates because I am actually not able to maintain the the, the correct note. So those are, the, however, it's still it's still in the in the area where I want it to be. It's, it's still a, a, a an in tune or, or close to be in tune note. Um, so there there are ways around it because at the end of the day, um, notes are vibrations. So if you can, um, no, let's not go down that road. So let's say, um, there's a, there are ways of disguising it. Um, so if you could, for for example, add a little bit of um delay to it and uh, to it and a bit of um reverb to it, um, what will happen is that you have several instances of of the same voice, of the same vocal sounding. Let me add the the effects now. So we'll sort of disguise what's happening with the vocal. So you just heard how it sounds on its own. And now. So now it's much less obvious that is that the vocal is not doing exactly what I want. And if we add the other vocals on, on top, which what I'm doing is, for example, I'm using this one leaning to the right. I'm using this one leaning to the left and this one leaning to the right and this one to the left. So I'm using it four times. Um, each one of them is slightly, slightly um, in, a, in a different position or either forward or backwards, but, but they aren't aligned exactly the same. So this creates a feeling that there are several, in this case, four different people doing the same note, yes, but different people in different sections of the sound, of the sound um, uh, uh, panning of the sound, the, the sound spectra, and um, spectrum. That's what I want to say. Um, so there are several. It seems like there are several people at the same time, but there's a slight, there's a slight difference in the timing. So you can see that here it just feels it feels fairly okay. But if we add now all the vocals that are doing the same but with a different panning and sometimes what I also do I'm gonna show you in a, in a different track, not in this one because it wasn't the intention in this case, but sometimes something else that you could do is to EQ them differently as well. On this one it's got a guitar rig, but I'm not using it actually. Um so you can on this one in this ones I haven't done it, it wasn't really the intention doing it this way. But um there are tracks where what I do is to use even more of them i think there's a track where i'm using 16 instances of of almost the same vocal um and what i'm doing there is to equalize each one of them and pan each one of them in a different way so that it sounds like a proper choir um um singing so yeah we went from just one vocal to four of them now is a much fuller fuller sound so for you to be able to differentiate um let me just play one with the entire track mm. let's see if that works let me 
points out all of them I'm sure there was an easy way easier way and quicker way of doing this but my brain is working this way today so it didn't work okay let's do it the other way I'm gonna turn these ones off There you go. So now you've got only one of them sounding with the entire track and you can already tell well, the difference. So that's very weak and you can hear it only in the center, only quite, quite in the middle, despite it having a bit of a delay added from the main vocals channel. Um, it, it sounds very, very, um, very, very in the middle. It's a tiny bit to the right, but still quite isolated. So now if we start adding all of it, all of them, it's a much fuller sound, it's not as weak as before. It's a very subtle difference, but still, it's there. It goes from just being in a tiny space to occupying a, a, a bigger portion of the sound spectrum, and also it it becomes a little bit um, a little bit stronger. So that's what I did pretty much for all these ones that you can see repeated, and I'm using them in strategic places or what I think are strategic places, just to get your attention to. Um, distract you from the from the main beat basically or to mark different places so after this the guitar riffs start and now this will start playing like a, a game with the riffs when the riff comes down the voice comes in and now the riff com comes back until here when it goes back down and the vocal comes in again yeah and it does pretty much the same and then I did a again a, s a very very similar technique with the with the long vocal that you can hear and I'm using this one um, less because it's much more intense and I want to use it only to to mark specific to accentuate specific points on the on the track so I'm missing it here in the break and this this is the first part when when this vocal comes up again if I will show you the, the vocal in its own you will hear that it it just vibrates, it's not the best. I'm pretty happy with it to be honest, with the end result of it, because, and as, and as I mentioned on, on one of my previous videos about the samples, um, uh, I think it was on the, on the last live streaming, it doesn't really, I mean, it matters the quality of the sample, but as long as you've got a sample which is somewhat decent, you can work with it and you can make it sound good. Obviously, don't don't take this wrong way the better quality samples that you can record the better better quality vocals that you can record the better your your music will be um the thing is my limitations around my my vocals i know them i can't go around them so i i'm happy with the with the best i can produce to the best of my abilities and i try and i try improving it the best i can with sound processing so Here's the first part where my vocal comes in, and then I'm using it again to mark a specific place, which is a specific moment in the track, which is the 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 main part coming in, the second main. It's nice. There's a really long note. The delay makes it sound a little bit over the beat, over the main beat, so that it's, it's, not, a, it's not a dry cut. Again, then here the track sort of dips, but in a really 
confusing way we don't know what's, what's exactly happening we don't know if this is a main or not and here's when we start pushing the pace again and here's when I want to give it the, the last final push and the track will grow and grow and grow again this is the peak of the track in my point of view Okay, um, I think these vocals, even though they, they look a bit, um, they look like there are plenty of them. Um, I haven't done much to them. I just cut the, the low frequencies, that, which I didn't want. Um, I added some reverb to them, but to all of them, because it's exactly the same. In this case, I just wanted to give it a bit more, a bit more body to my, to my vocal, a bit of panning. Um, and, and nothing else and just a bit of ambience and, and nothing else to mainly to make it blend a bit better with the with the track and also to disguise all those uh, to disguise all those uh, little imperfections that i've got in, in my own voice so um i'm using i'm using quite a bit of reverb on this main channel uh, i'm not acuting it but i'm using a simple delay as well and um, and that would be it. I would I'd advise you to experiment with this. There's some really cool things that you could do with overlaying your own voice or, or any vocal that you've got. Uh, there are many things, many interesting th things that you can do by um, just setting the same sample on different channels with a with a bit of delay, um, so that it's exactly the same sound but sounding. Let, let me just quickly show you what I mean by that so you can you can make it even ha a bigger difference than the one I made it so that you can start creating interesting effects This one because it's a very like long vocal, you won't you can't tell exactly what's the difference, but you can you can play around with this and and you can hear how it, it joins in just a second after, or you can play with smaller differences. Again, there, there, there are very, very small differences, but um, play around with it. Play around with the concept. With the concept, record your own vocals um, and see, see what you can, what you can get from them. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, and yeah, it's all about experimenting. If you're not not all that happy with the, um, if you're not all that happy with the vocals that you can produce. At least with this, you know that there's a there's a way that you can you can process them to make them sound better. They they if your voice is not perfect, they will probably never sound perfect. But still, you can you can accomplish something very decent, uh, decent and very usable, and um, particularly for the kind of music that that we do. Um, so yeah, I think that's very interesting. Um, that's pretty much everything for me today i just wanted to thank you all again for supporting um this channel as usual for viewing all my, my videos the next one is probably going to be the final video of this uh, making a techno track series and we're going to go through mixing now we've got all the sounds put together how do we make them blend how do we make them sound correctly all together we've been through a bit of this in on every single on every single episode of the series but um we're gonna go in much more depth into how to do this channel by channel and then a final final mix so thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for watching this video for supporting 
all the videos thus far and um, if you liked it please give it a like give it a share subscribe to my channel it will be much much appreciated so thank you so much um, and see you next time